I'm going to take you through uh, an increasingly more difficult sequence of hip extension work. Brilliant for people on a daily basis, particularly good for beginners, but also really good for the more advanced, fitter people as a reminder. So I'm going to bring myself down to the floor. And again, I'm simply going to do is lift my butt off the floor. I don't want to come all the way up here, so we hyperextend the spine. What I just want to be able to do is just come up to this position and then back down. Now, a couple of key cueing points is to make sure that you're not thinking about lifting up. You're thinking more about pushing the feet into the floor. And by doing that, we're going to get a little bit more involvement with these muscles on the back of the legs, the hamstrings. And we want to be stimulating the glutes, of course, because they're some of the major groups that are lifting us up. You're going to get a little bit of lower back work, but not much. So I like people to go through sets of 10 to 12, even to 15, as you get used to this. So again, for beginners, this is something that you can do pretty much every day, maybe one or two sets. Let's move on to a slightly harder exercise. So again, what I'm going to do again is work us into a hip extension position. I'm going to hold this. So we're going to hold in what we call a static position. And then what we're going to do is we're going to alternate our legs. We're going to take them off. Now, we're always talking about progressive overload, i.e. making exercises slightly harder so that it stresses the muscle groups. It stresses the, the brain to get better. And that's what we're after. But to start on this one, I always like hands out the side and we start here. Now the key is, is simply taking the leg away whilst maintaining exactly the trunk position, the hip position. So we don't want to be rotating off, we don't want to be dropping down, we want to see whether we can hold exactly the same position. And then we want to slow and smooth pick away. Now again for beginners we can go hands out. For slightly more advanced, we can maybe extend the legs and make the lever arm slightly bigger. But also what we can do is start changing what we're doing with the hands. Because this involves a little bit more stability from that position. So you can run through those sequences again. I like to do 10 to 12 repetitions. So sort of six, maybe even six to eight either side. So let's make that a little bit more difficult again. And this is a one leg hip extension drive. And again, remember hands on the floor makes it more secure, but slightly easier. Bringing the hands across the chest makes it more difficult. I'm going to go for hands on the floor for a demonstration. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide the heel closer up to my butt and now I'm going to drive away and then back down control, drive away, back down control. Now, sometimes again, Hamstrings are going to do quite a bit of the work. You might sometimes get a little bit of a feeling that your hamstrings might cramp up for you. Okay, so just be aware of that. Again, driving up, control down, driving up. I like to do 10 repetitions with this exercise. And again, quite easy in this position, becomes more difficult as I move to here, a little bit more involved. And again, I want to do a set of 10 on this one, a set of 10 on that one. So these are really good floor exercises for both beginners and for more advanced people to just remind themselves of how things should work. So let's get to that.